Well, hello guys, welcome back to Totally Rad for the NES. I am Nintendo Capri Sun, and what in the world is this? I don't know. So this is Act 3 of the game, and I'm actually going to undergo a transformation here. Select our transformation, and boom! Now I'm a fish! And I throw ninja stars, which do double damage, I believe. I do oh, wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Those always catch me off guard, as you can see, though. Killing stuff much quicker. Yeah. So there's really no reason not to use this in the first two stages, I guess. Because it really doesn't change anything, it's just you spend the magic to turn. The only thing that's a hassle about it is when you need to heal, you have to turn back to a human. See, like, I already <laughs> heal, so I'll go back. And then go up here and select the spell and use it. You have to actually press A to select the spell. Like, normally, I know in a lot of games, you just go into the menu, choose your spell, and then press the start again. But if you do that, you're just going to cast heal again, and it's back on the heart. You actually have to select the spell in the menu before you cast it. And that takes a little getting used to. There's another one of these mini-bosses. If, if we're lucky, he won't charge us, but he's going to. Yeah, that, that was actually, we got pretty, that wasn't too bad. So, stage 3 has a little bit of water in it, and that's the one good reason to use the fish. So that way, if you happen to fall into the water, which I'm not going to do, you can just swim out of it. You'll get to see the swimming when I fight the boss, though. Ooh, boy, that was close. If not for the slowdown, I very well might have taken damage there. Alright, and that can't go through the platform, so don't worry about that. Also, keep shooting, because stuff will fly out at you without a moment's hesitation. Yeah, I love that, how these only take two shots. It's just so good. Yeah, watch out for the fish, though. They be jumping. Fishes be jumping! Oh, I was swimming there. Okay, that works. Okay, right here, he's gonna... Oh, well... Oh, man, I wasn't watching my life. Mm-mm. Yeah, this can get pretty brutal. I suppose no reason not to go ahead and transform over here. And then just go ahead and switch my spell over. Oh, I can't do that. Okay, let's switch there. So if I need to turn back to human, we can do that. If need be. I remember once reading in Nintendo Power that um, enemies in this game are often very harshly placed. And I've always kind of sort of remembered that for some reason. It's amazing how much I remember of like what I've read when I was a kid. Like that whole Link to the Past um, strategy guide, they were advertising it in Nintendo Power once. And they had it opened up to the page that says the truth about Bomb Bows. It's like the biggest clickbait you've ever seen. It was basically the 90s version of clickbait. Because everyone wanted to know what's so special about Bomb Bows. It's like the one spell in the game that you don't use, so maybe it has some secret use that nobody knows about. But then when you get the strategy guide and actually read that page, you find out that no, there is no use for it other than just destroying all the enemies on the screen. But what's funny is if you looked close enough at the ad, you could read the page right there on the ad. If you had like a magnifying glass. Yeah, this guy's not too bad. You don't have to be a fish to beat him, but definitely goes by faster if you do. Keep in mind, we're doing double damage here, so you imagine how long this would take as a human, not that we've been, like, doing this for very long. Yeah, there we go. Here's the song that I remember. Oh, I'll, I'll just let it play, what the hell. Besides, I gotta concentrate here. Shit. Yeah, I didn't take damage from that. Yeah, so what's weird about it is that sometimes you're not sure if you remember a song the way that it actually was. Because I mean, it's amazing how much your memories can change something over time if you don't hear it for a long time. You start to forget, like, what chord was where, and was the bass playing this note here, or what, or... But you don't remember, so, like, for 20 years, it would happen again and again, like, at least once a month or once every few months. I would think about this song, and I'd play it over in my head. And I'd wonder, is that how it actually sounded, or am I still remembering it right? And I never went back and played the game to find out. 
And when I finally did play it, it I was kind of surprised how accurate my memory was for this particular song, anyway. Usually I don't remember a song as well, or as accurately as I did this one, but it just happened that way. It's not like a great song or anything, but, but you know, I've always had a kind of an affinity towards water-based music in games, like the Bubble Man stage or Donkey Kong Country, I mean, good lord. It seems like water stages always have good music. Even the Water Temple, ooh, to you, be careful. If not water, then ice. Ice stages tend to have good music too, just look at Super Ghouls and Ghosts. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and human this up here. Now if I go too far, I won't be able to heal myself, it'll block you out of casting a spell. Once the arrow appears on the screen telling you to advance, then you won't be able to cast a spell until you get to the next screen. So that's why I wanted to do it then, because there's the arrow, and now I won't be able to cast anymore. So this boss isn't too bad, once again, stay on the extreme left side of the screen and just just hammer, just hammer away. Most of the, well, I mean, the little bullets won't bother you too much, but the little fish as well. Ooh. Sometimes that happens. When you take damage, it'll stun you. You just gradually sink back to the ground, and if that happens, there's not much you can do. But, uh, anyway. Let's go ahead and get healing done. See, the difference here, like, normally you're healing... Like I explained of how it's easy, is how it's more cost efficient to do the, you know, refill half of your life instead of all of it. Well, come on, dude, seriously, give me a chance here. Alright. Oh, no, 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 you did this wrong. See, in this case, I think it would actually be better to do the full heal. Oh, crap, actually, that might not be a good idea. Oh, maybe, maybe we'll just do this from the ground, I don't know. Oh, yeah. One thing about this boss, unlike other bosses, it seems like you can shoot this one faster than the others. There we go. We're good. <laughs> I was a little worried there for a second. Jeez. This song is pretty good, too, actually. Mm-hmm. Oh! The foot! I knew it. I knew they had to be involved in this. Okay, so the girl's father is apparently a professor, and so they're taking him to, I don't know, to get some kind of information or something, whatever. My magic is more powerful than yours now. Then what are you even still doing here? Get back to the circus. Use my gift. I don't know, man. Should I go ahead and do that for in this video? This is going to be another one of those three-part LP. I guess we should do it, because that didn't take very long. Okay, so here's the stage where you're going to want to start using the bird ability. I probably could have started using the fish sooner, but, um... Let me just actually go through normally for a minute here, and maybe... I don't remember... Okay, yeah, oh, shoot. As far as I know, the bird doesn't really do any more damage than normal. They say it does... Oh, well... I read somewhere that, like, one of them does two times damage, and one of them does three times damage. But, as far as I've been able to tell, the bird doesn't do any better damage than the human does, and the fish only does double damage. So, I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, I'm making out okay so far as a human. Jeez. Okay, well, it'll be flying at me. I'm trying to remember what point did I change. I think I'm gonna change now. If nothing else, so that you can see it. Because I'm going to need to fly out of this guy's way. There we go, see? It's just little things like that that you learn just by playing the game. It's kind of like, you know... There's really no way... I mean, I guess it's possible for someone who's never played this game before to react to that, you know, and... and to do the right thing. Okay, this guy we can just skip. Watch out about halfway across the bridge here, the rock. That guy will mess you up. And this one right here, too. I think they can shoot the rocks. Oh, jeez. Well, if I was gonna take a hit from anything, it shouldn't have been the freaking stationary spikes. You know, the original tape that I made of this in the stationary chair. Well, they ask all these easy questions. The other thing that takes me off is that we watched Jeopardy at Mom's house. 
all the categories is old movies, famous people, shit like that. Okay, this boss is kind of a pain in the ass, because what you have to do, you basically can't hurt him until you knock off the, the eyes on top like three or four times, and then he opens his mouth, and then you can hit him, but until then there's nothing you can do besides this. And of course, obviously avoid the flying whatchamadoodickies. One more time? Alright. Now. Open your big ass mouth, there we go. Yeah, the bird is a little bit broken, because the bird can fly. Yeah, I didn't mention that. But, yeah. So, I mean, you've seen me doing it, though, so you kind of know. You got the idea. So, even though it's broken, I don't want to be too quick to say, oh, that just makes the game completely easy now, because you still have to know where stuff is, you know, and how to approach each situation individually here. And plus, the mini-bosses, the one in particular coming up later, is going to take me probably five or six minutes to beat it, because there's a pattern to it. And if you don't follow the pattern, you basically just get killed. There's nothing much you can do about it, so... I hope I remember the pattern, because I only did it once yesterday. Or, not even yesterday, it was like two or three days ago, but whatever. <laughs> So even this guy here is taking forever. That's why they say the mini bosses, they're harder than the actual bosses are. Now, I never got this far when we rented the game. I got as far as the waterfall and the fish boss, and that was it. That was as far as I ever got. So I was more than a little surprised to see that they used this music again later in the game. Oh, well, you know what? We're just gonna fly over this dude. Don't fly too high, though. You will take damage if you touch the ceiling, so. Oh, there you go. See, that's what I'm talking about. You can't even... You don't even get a chance to react there. It's just one rock, though. I mean, what, what, are you, what is it gonna do? That I probably should have taken the time to kill, but I didn't. I guess I will now. I mean, I don't know if you get, like, free lives in this or what. Uh, 240, good lord. Oh, I'm gonna put it on there just in case. I probably will heal. Shit! Okay, good. Get out of there in time. Just watch for those rocks, man. That's all you have to worry about is the rocks that fall from the ceiling. Everything else, you can take care of. You just have to watch. Because they do give you time to react. It's not like they don't. If you're flying up totally, like, towards the top of the screen, then maybe you might not have a chance to. Ooh. I'm gonna go ahead and do it now. <laughs> Trust myself. So see, here I could use half or I could use full. But now it's not an issue of 2 MP versus 4 MP. This is an issue of 4 MP versus 6 MP, because I'm going to have to use 2 MP to regain my form. So is it worth it to use 6 to gain 4, or 4 to gain 3? So you kind of have to do the math, I don't know. I'm still going to go with this 4 to gain 2, or to gain 3. Okay, these you can just fly over, they'll try to jump at you if you get too low, but it's not too bad. I've never actually played this part of the game as anything else than the bird, so I don't really know what they do. This might be like some kind of Donkey Kong Country situation, maybe, I don't know. Okay, and this boss here is actually really easy. At least as the bird, he's easy. Basically, you just stick around up here, shoot him in the face, that's all you do. Most of his attacks won't even reach you, as long as you remember to stay in the air. So you're kind of going back and forth, button matching, shooting, button matching to fly. So occasionally you might let one priority go. I can't see where I am. Jeez, man. Well, that was close. I'll screw that one up. I had plenty of magic to heal myself. I didn't do it. Okay, well, <laughs> we've caught up with them, have you? I didn't know you were still tagging along. Watch your step and be excellent. It's sad that I don't have Wayne's World memorized, I'd be making some references to that. But the only reference I know is, do you think Bugs Bunny is hot when he dresses up as a girl? Which I don't. I still think Chihiro is hot, though. Anyway. That's from Danganronpa, if you don't know. <laughs> I've been streaming it. I'm gonna start, like, moving it to Friday night. Twitch.tv slash Nintendo Capri Sun, yo! <laughs> key from... I don't even remember getting a key from that dude. 
Anyway, here it is, Act 5, the final stage of the game, y'all. So, next time on Totally Rad, Act 5. See you later.